Bismillahirrahmanirrahim today i am going to tell you the different parts of the fallopian tube on hysterosalpingography study and we know that contrast is given through leach wilkinson cannula when we do the procedure hysterosalpingogram so we we should know different parts of the fallopian tubes okay like some diseases like salpingitis isthmitica nodosa only involve the isthmus isthmus part of the fallopian tube okay and so it's necessary to differentiate between different parts of the fallopian tube so let discuss the isthmus the basic uh, word isthmus uh, meaning is the nervous part the nervous part of the fallopian tube is the isthmus part you can appreciate this is the isthmus part okay the isthmus part is basically a straight part a straight part very little turn we can appreciate in the isthmus part okay the the isthmus part is very near to the uterus the first part that is very near to the uterus is the isthmus and it is the straight part of the fallopian tube very little or one or two turns we can see in it but uh, less likely okay and the next part is the ampullary part you can appreciate this is the ampullary part this is the ampullary part so how we can differentiate between the isthmus and ampullary the ampulla being dilated the dilated part and uh, it's serpiginous like structure okay it's dilated along with dilatation it is serpiginous you can appreciate this is the serpiginous serpiginous like structure and this is more dilated than the isthmus part whenever we see the dilate, dilated serpiginous part then we should say it's the ampullary part of the fallopian tube okay and the last part this is the last part of the fallopian tube that is the infundibulum infundibulum the basic word meaning is the is just a keef like structure and uh, uh, one end is the uh, just like keef its one end is the dilated and other end is the uh, short okay so this is the distal part of the fallopian tube so uh, isthmus is the narrow part very near to the uterus and very less likely to be uh, to be curved or turn and ampulla ampulla is the dilated part its serpiginous like structure okay and the uh, ampul uh, the last part is the fimbrial part and or uh, it's called the infundibulum uh, the last part is the uh, infundibulum part and we can see the one end is the just like keef is distended and other is narrow and at the end of the uh, this infundibulum is the uh, fimbria okay the fimbria are just like um, moving uh, projections uh, that help uh, that help uh, to or take the ovum that is released from the ovary and take into the uh, infundibulum okay and uh, whenever we see sin salpingitis isthmitic nodosa we will always focus the isthmus part and when we what happened in this basically this is a uh, this is uh, this uh, process occur uh, due to chronic inflammation of the fallopian tube so due to chronic inflammation the smooth muscles of the stomach stomach part of the fallopian tubule are hypertrophy and uh, when they are hypertrophy they they uh, they they will cause the uh, diverticula uh, diverticula like uh, diverticula like projection of the mucosa inside the smooth muscles uh, layer okay so on hsg we will see the uh, diverticula like structures in the stomach part of the uh, uh, fallopian tube Ho hopefully you will get uh, understand if there is any query you can ask thank you